by Tyler Childers is going to be played in standard tuning and capoed on the third fret of the guitar. It's going to be coming out of a progression that has, uh, or that is based around E shapes. The intro will be out of an E. You've got your second finger on the five string two fret, your ring finger on the four string two fret, your first finger on the three string one fret. And the first strum of the song is happening with a hammer on using your pinky finger to the third string second fret and then you pick it back up so you strum down and then go up down and then down and pull off your pinky finger and then you go um, so what that is is you will uh, with your ring finger, you'll move to the 6th string 2 fret, hit that, and immediately slide it up to the 6th string 4 fret. And then with your first finger, you'll put it down on the 5 string 2 fret, and you'll pluck that. So you hit slide, uh, hit slide on the 6th string to the 4th fret, and then 5 string 2 fret, and then back to the ring finger on the 6th string 4 fret, slide it down to the 6th string 2 fret, and then you'll lift it up, and in lifting it up, you'll probably hear the sixth string ring open a little bit, and then back into the E chord, a standard E chord with your uh, second ring and first fingers in the positions discussed earlier as an E major. And then you do the hammer roll with your pinky finger to the third string second fret again, and then pull it back off. So the strumming pattern, that's the intro before it gets into the verse. The strumming pattern through this whole thing will be So that's a down, up, 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 down, with the uh, each kind of measures down happening on the root of the chord, like the so the open six and then up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, with each uh, final down happening on the root of the chord. Alright, so the song is going to begin with that E chord. Also, uh, whenever we move into the verse, um, you can hear, and I just missed it twice, I don't know why, but you can hear Tyler Childers hammering on with his second finger to the five string two fret, like. So to do that, on your down, you would be plucking an open five string and then hammering on with your second finger to the five string two fret. The second chord will be an F sharp minor, so you're moving with, uh, this is a bar chord here, barring the second fret of all strings, and then putting your ring finger on the five string four fret and your pinky finger on the four string four fret. So you're moving from an E major to an F sharp minor, and then to an A chord. The A chord will be made by just barring with your first finger, strings four, three, and two on the second fret, strumming from the open five down. And then there's a little hammer on, where with your ring finger, you'll hammer on to the four string fourth fret. And then you pull it off. So down, up, down, hammer, on the down, up, down, and then hit down again and pull off. That feel, and then it goes back into the, and that repeats as the verses. So the E to the F sharp to the A, back into the E. And sometimes the hammer on happens with the pinky, and sometimes it's just hammer on with the second finger on the uh, five string two fret. Whenever we get to the chorus, it's going to be the same chords but in a slightly different order. The chorus will begin on an F sharp minor, and then it goes to an A chord, and then it goes to the E chord, then back to the A chord. And the second time on the A chord, you hear the hammer on happening again with your ring finger to the four string four fret. And then the pull off again, pulling 
off your ring finger from the fourth string four fret to re-expose where your first finger has barred the fourth string two fret. And then it goes back into the E chord. You hit that hammer on again with your pinky finger, as in hammering your pinky to the third string two fret. And then you will hit an E7 chord before returning into the uh, before returning into the F sharp minor. So the way that you're going to play that E7 is you'll just lift your ring finger to expose the open four string and strum across those chords. So that's going to happen like this out of the hammer roll in the E major at the end of the first round of the chorus. Hammer roll, the E, and then the E7, and then back into the F sharp minor, back up to the A, back down to the E, back up to the A with a hammer roll and the pull off, and then back into the E, hammer roll, E, E7. So, um, and that's the chorus, and that repeats as, as the chorus, and then it goes back into um, the verse chords, which are almost the exact same. So those are the chords and the movements to Onita by Tyler Childers. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.